You've reached the hotline of DieCast. How may I direct your call? You want to come say hi to the people? That's it, so I'm Walter. Welcome to the hotline of DieCast. Puppy's trying to taunt him with his butcher cut. <laughs> Kitty smart because he took my seat. <clears throat> I'm going to put you down, buddy, because I don't need your hair on my pants right now. This is what I go through. I think everyone can respect that, I hope, and or appreciate it. Uh, in the last upload, there was a, I asked you guys what your house was like, and a lot of people got back, and it sounds like uh, pretty much the same. So I don't know how the hell we squeeze in this die cast, but I'm glad we do. And man, I got some die cast, yo. I, I did some hunting on the way up to work again, so really stoked in some things I found, and I'm, I'm curious, so I want to kind of dive in a little deeper on a couple of these castings. I'm not going to put this by the microphone because then you guys just get chimed out super loud. What I came across, perfect. And what I did come across was the 2024 card version of the Fast and Furious Ice Charger. Dude, I watched actually, I watched Fast and Furious 9. Fate of the Furious. I watched last night, man. Still haven't seen 10. But I wondered, because they did just release this. Man, I really think they did it last year. And I have it free. Here it is. I'm curious what the differences are. Well, it's a different shade of paint, for sure. And the only other difference I've noticed right off the bat is there's a Hot Wheels sticker on the roof there versus none on this one so not too many differences but just enough to make you maybe want to buy both versions i'm happy to have them both go in my f and f little kind of shrine altar not even that i just give it its own section it deserves its own segment of my die cast. Let's see, found some cars, went to Walmart, Target, the usual jumps. This was kind of surprising. The new JM Port 92 Honda Civic EG. Now, this is surprising for a couple reasons. I wonder, too. We, we JDM, that, that comes up quite a bit. And or, I can't see in this mother. I know I can see better. Um, JDM, how we always talk about that. And with the JM ports, it's not JDM cars. And what I mean by that is, like, it's JM ports. And they wanted to make sure they did that so they can include the Datsun 510s. It's almost solely that way for that because they know how much that how important that car is to us so on and so forth now the true jdm version of a Datsun 510 would be a bluebird a bluebird like 1800 or something 1600 bluebird 1600 that would be the equivalent of the Datsun 510 we have here in the states which is left hand drive lhd versus the right hand drive and now i think about it the Datsun Bluebird Wagon. The Super says Bluebird on it. And it can't be a Bluebird because it's left-hand drive, right? Right? And in, in discussions of J Imports, and pardon me, I'm going a little off track there, but these, uh, these are things I kind of like maybe overanalyze through our hobby. But here's another overanalyzation. This 92 Honda Civic EG is lame. I do believe it just says Hot Wheels in Japanese script. Love the finished headlights. Love the tempos they added on the side. Didn't do the uh, the back, but gave you a sunroof. It's the EG, it's the higher end one. Also, this has got to be the first time we've seen this in a main line. So there's like the yellow one, that's the Fast and Furious one, the, the spoon. 
There's some other premium ones, right? Yeah, there's a couple. There's like... Oh, there's the uh, teal one. But no, that's not a mainline. That's not a basic. That was a Walmart uh, exclusive. So that was like a two, three dollar car. So thank you, HW and J Imports. We've got a new gangster. That one's a bird gang, obviously. Let's stay with bird gang then. Or should we stay with J? Ah, I'll stay with J. Because I think this thing is fantastic. Look at this little compact King 73 Honda Civic Custom. By far the best one they've put out. I mean, this thing looks so good in its mainline regard. I thought it would be followed up with a Super. It's sporty. Modal. It's sporty. And we are on DKs. DK, well, kind of. We, we don't want to hold that there. Um, but this is from DKs. The Bagani Zonda R. What a legend of a bonkers ass soup hypercar. And we've had. I uh, move my Paganis. I mean, we've had three or four of the. Oh, because there's. No, that's a wire convertible. So this must be the third, maybe? Third colorway? I'm loving it, baby. Like McDonald's. I'm loving it. Those gold wheels, sorry. Let me give you guys some pleasure. Look at the little tone, like the fade candy paint. This thing is really nice. I sound like I work for Mattel. No, I heart them though, because they did give me, they're my Valentine this year. You guys do know this little red Chevy Express? It does say Valentine on the door, or will you be my Valentine rather? I'm trying to avoid the glare. This little red express, legend of a truck. Uh, I guess out in treasure hunts, a real deal. Somewhere out there in the world, got those big stove pipes on the side. Cool little Valentine piece. And Hot Wheels pays attention to all these things. In fact, let's bring in the Leap Year car. Also in the D case. I believe it also is going to show up in your E cases as well. But this is the Roger Dodger. This is the Leap Year car. I know there was a couple before that. For this, maybe like a, maybe it was a Chevelle or Charger, but I know there was like a, a the La Troca, the 52 pickup. There's one of those. And they obviously they come out in leap year. It's hard to counter the cases to be on time. You know, I just got the Valentine's Day car and I'm a month late, you know, and leap year as well. So it's hard. Cases don't all ship in that particular chronological order that we dream them up to be. Here's a great casting. The 67 Chevy S10 from the Art Cars. Now, I, I mentioned that because it says keep drawing on the side. And they're right. Keep drawing. Art. It's in the middle of Earth. I do. I appreciate the Art Cars. They, they do. They, they seem to hold a bit of class and a touch of kid to it so it's easy for me to love I, I copped a couple of those trucks felt like I should maybe have one for one of you guys who could potentially be my valentine also came across the new HW screen time there's a new tag back to the future hover mode I'm hyped on this and I, I I wonder if it's any different than the old one Let's compare. Well, the old one was released in 2017 on a screen time card, so that's how long it's been. It also was a super treasure hunt. Well, difference really being immediately on the card art what I can tell clear window versus a blue tint window on the 2017 and the differences I meant by the card art uh, you have a black grill on a new one and you have a silver one on the older one and now I have one open 
Listen, that's super, man. Super's been... It's, it's more the, the BTF than, than the super treasure hunt part of it. But I do love supers. I, I, I'll clarify. And, you know, as we were kind of going on and talking, no matter what the maybe harsh reality, and I'm seeing so much, you know, negativity about the $99 exclusivity club for RLC, which is already an exclusive club, and blah, 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 yada, yada. I can't be mad at that, man. They're right, you know? But we've got to also acknowledge, we've got to remind ourselves, because everyone already knows, it's not a money grab. They're in the business of selling things. That's all. And they're always trying to perfect the art of selling these things and what things to sell. This is something that all businesses do. Uh, we, as Americans, and hopefully uh, this goes for everyone else who's from another country that's watching, and I appreciate all y'all. Um, but we have the freedom to choose what we buy, right? You don't have to have every Hot Wheel to be a, a collector or a hobbyist, right? You don't even have to be a completist. You can go cherry pick stuff, you know? why? It's part of the hobby. If we were all exactly the same, there'd be zero entertainment, you know? You know, and I, I will flat out admit, I'm excited about Skylines and, you know, JDM as a whole. It's an entertaining segment of car culture that I w might even, it might even be most honest if I said I was avoiding learning about. And now that I've kind of dug into it a little, a lot or more, man, it's crazy. Even like the JDM Mercedes Benz that they build and stuff, you know, they build them strictly for Japan right hand drive. So JDM doesn't just apply to a Japanese uh, production uh, vehicle, pardon me. Bear with me. I'm always, always working. That's the way the, the job goes. Uh, well, here we go. We're back. Target. Stop the Target. Front peg. Custom 53 Chevy, which happens to be the D case treasure hunt. See a little symbol there just on the uh, front quarter panel fender. Gangster paint. DK Super. Pretty excited to find this thing. There's your 89 Mercedes Benz 560 SEC AMG. J you could get one of these things, JDM. Or maybe it was a 500. You know, I'm honestly not 100% sure on that because I'm not Japanese, nor did I have the money nor the connections to order my cars there. But those would actually be considered true JDM as well. Stoked to have that Super. Fact. Uh, bumped into a collector pal and sounds like he was holding a couple cars for me and one of them happened to be the super I was looking for this year. The Volvo 240 drift wagon, or technically last year. I was looking for this bad boy. Dodging me. Dodging me. Thank you, Thor. Heck of cool. Wasn't done there. He also was holding something else for me because he knows how much I despise Beatles but love Volkswagen. So um, you just you just fall for him as much as I despise him too. He's just really trying to win me over. Sorry, kids. Active. Really cool chase piece though. You know, it's I the color is awesome. I I don't know what else to call it besides awesome. Like a burnt orange. And then that weird green gold brass that they got going on for their chase pieces. Excited and thankful for that. So thank you doubly. And I bumped into the uh, uh, to Thor at, uh, at Walmart. And while I was there, I picked this up. The Porsche Cayenne Turbo in the moving parts. Ugh. It's not doing me much good on the card. 
with this car because all my Porsches, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to free them all. I'm fighting it though. Rubber wheels. What part moves? Or is it just collectors? No parts move. But is it pretty? Pretty AF. I remember seeing this on sneaks. Now me got it. And it's not gonna do me good in the card because it's a cool AF and give you the the little storage container. Totally missed the trash can if you didn't hear that. Totally missed it. I guess it slid off the top. Oh shoot, I almost overlooked it. I bought this too. Well, no, I didn't buy this. Homie bought it because I wasn't going to buy it. And he was like, what are you grabbing? And I was like, the grass chomper. It was like my first treasure hunt. And I didn't know it was a treasure hunt. I discovered what treasure hunts were. And I wonder if you guys have. And if you haven't yet, go back. And I, I went and compared all my cars to what I saw in HW Treasure. And I, I had a couple treasure hunts. I had the grass chomper. And I had the um, cool combi. Those were two I had in my possession. So they were nice to discover. No supers. No supers. But that's only right. Here's a random find. Well, and I don't know if you guys saw it. And if not, I'm going to put it up now. Um, look like the same stuff. We're still running last year's jumps. In fact, they're only running twin mills. Sorry, Garth. Nissan's everywhere. Apex. Lambo. And the Bone Shaker. And the Porsche. Could've got that Porsche in there. And I'm glad I bought that 20 pack. <laughs> That's cool. There's that GTI I wanted. And there's that. <laughs> Crazy. They, they will incentivize you to buy. Oh, wait, five, no, that's not. Six. Okay. Hey, I don't need it, though. Hey, oh, look at that. There's the other three wheeler. The new color. Player. But bumped into eight packs, a lot of them lately. You guys saw that one? That one was stacked. It had the, you know, had the the plug in it, and had the other plug to get you to the next level. And I didn't buy it. That's not what I'm holding. This one I'm holding surprised me though, because I bought this one, and I bought it from Walgreens, a different one, and I bought it. I bought it for that skyline. I think it's magnificent, marvelous even. It also comes with a convertible. Uh, fun to play with Corvette, that art mod uh, mod rod, and what else did I buy it for? Oh, the formula, the formula car. But realistically, I just paid ten bucks just for that Skyline. That's the real truth of it all. As I'm as I'm looking through this, I have the Corvette. You know, the F1 car I don't have, but I want. So I paid five bucks. I don't have the mod and I wanted that. So let's take it down to three bucks. But three bucks, that's fair, right? That's like Ace Hardware prices or your gas station or airport. No, airport's like five or six bucks at cast. Kept it moving. Uh, went up to like my favorite place to go and visit, man. It's just one of the most beautiful places, period. I hope I'm showing the drive right now as I'm talking about it, but rip past the Mission Mountains, come up over this little crest and drop down into Polson Lake, or uh, Flathead Lake into Polson, and and there's a Walmart. <laughs> you just pulled in the parking lot and there's Walmart, you're looking back behind it. Just gateways to the gateway to Glacier National Park, and snow-capped peaks. Not enough snow, though. That's what I was paying the most attention to. Anyway, beautiful place. I love it there. So I got to go in there and I, uh, hopefully I'm uh, showing you guys the hunt. Older 
first stop. Yeah, there's some boxes here, but it doesn't look like cars. No, maybe like some stuff open. Let's see. Well, that's a lot of these. They've all been gone here, yes, they've, they've all been tapped. So this looks like the same stuff that was here last time I visited. There's a nice Porsche in Don't mind if I do. Force is coming. I actually got a Jetta from the Adventure Force already. Oh. Nice. That's the only one. Oh no, there's some. Oh, look okay. Psyched. I don't know why I pretend like I like M2. I just can't help but look. That's it. I'm good. Peace. Good stuff in there. That's what I came home with. And, and I'm and before I get. To, oh no, I'll start. The Liberty Walk Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. I feel like I've shown this car a quite a bit. But I did my research, and I don't have them all. I'm missing the Target Red Edition, and I think I'm missing the yellow one. But I think I just can't find it. So I'm missing it, right? Same difference. But other than that, man, there's a ton of these, yeah? There's a, isn't there one on the transport? I'm not getting up anymore. I'm pretty, no matter what, it's on this boulevard, number 91. And this mirror is one of the mainline colorways with the white, um, with the yellow livery treatment. This may be one of the champions of the set, though. The MBK van, I've always enjoyed them. They're great billboards for everything. Oh, bear with me. This kiddo. Gotta answer the phone. Ad van, MBK van, billboard. They use it. Premium right only. Premium only, right? I'm pretty sure. And if so, I wonder why and why this van's only premium. Number 93. The third offering shows up in our Boulevard collection. The Porsche 718 Cayman, the GT4. That's all for them tires getting you to grand touring destinations. And like I say, it's the third one. You've got the first one was the white one released in the Fast and Furious set. And it's also coming back in the Women of Fast set. And the red one from the uh, new silver cards. The, the Porsche set. That's a badass color. In fact, I doubled up on it. Why? Because I'm a G and I'm really into collecting these stupid Porsches. Uh, gotta drive on. Look at that Euro plate. Sweet for the booty. The booty is the bounty. Because that's where all the power is in these things. Let's 
so nice, so nice, and again, yeah, man, Hot Wheels, you, if it weren't for Hot Wheels, none of the other brands would exist, and there's still gonna always be that, that ambiance that is a Hot Wheel versus the other brands, there's something that will always have that classic, catchy coolness in the Hot Wheels version versus the others. what it is when you're a trendsetter, you know? You know, even though the idea was borrowed from Matchbox, but trendsetter. Number nine to boat. The black Nissan Skyline RS KD R30. Seen a number of these, too. You see the Cali plate on it. Oof, that thing is pretty G. So they're... they're they're doing right, and they got the like, uh, it's like an old diner behind it with the flames, and just really cool car design. You could probably get a better look at it if I show you, but I'm gonna use the 66 Chevy Corvair Yanko Stinger to show you the car art. Cool car, a golf livery car, and you can see they did the attention on the headlights. What if I told you that you can use motion range? What if you told me I'm gonna? Hit the skip button. That's what I'm telling you. Cool set, man. Boulevard. And and hopefully you guys are finding them on your pegs. Um, you know, I'm seeing those shippers on the end pegs and on the end caps or peg end shell. That I'm seeing those boxes and maybe you guys are too. But if not, I, I, I hope you guys are finding these boulevards because they are the, the set to collect. So much so that I'm going to reach out right now. I have them all. Except 76 through 85. And I'd rather... Because it's going to cost me. I don't know. Facilitating trades are just a bit of a nightmare, I think. When you aren't in front of each other to facilitate the trade, you know? So, um, I know I'm not to pay for them, but I'd rather it be to you guys or your whatnot or whatever it is. So, someone let me know who has 75, 85 through shit. 75 through 86. 76 through 85. Holla at a player. Kind of need them Jones. There is. There is a small chance that it's in this box. No, I, I think this is actually a whatnot order. No, it's not. This is from Scott. If you guys remember, Scott uh, is a real G, a real one. And I uh, knew, <laughs> knew I was, basically knew I'm never going to find those uh, vintage racing series. So he sent me those and yeah, he sent them to me already. So what's in here? Box with a box in it. That's been consistent. And some peanuts. Gotta love peanuts. Here's the box. That was in a box. Thank you, Scott, by the way. Sorry, man, I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm trying to put it. Whoa. Pleasantly scary. Is that a GMG? Yes, it is. I spent a I spent a lot of hours of my life watching this show. It's the Gas Monkey Garage Bandana. What am I doing? I'm sorry, Richard Rollins. I wasn't doing you any justice. It was definitely different. The show changed after Aaron left and went and did his own thing. But I still tuned in. I watched Aaron's show. But there's nothing like when they were all working together. That's what it looked like. There it is. 
Yo, I might even run this today, man. I'm gonna go skate. It's so nice out. Spring came early. Oof. So, I guess, yeah. Right? Oh, yes. Broski. Sorry, guys, I need to plug you in. So, the vintage racing cars you had sent me, the vet wasn't there. Where was it? Man, let me, let me not be lazy. For now, I'm just losing track. Oh, Scott, good looks. Yes, no vet. So now I have vet, Lambo, mirror, and the, uh, the little O2, the BMW. Also have Porsche, the 911 to go with it. Because I, yeah, I couldn't wait. Man, as soon as you realize, that is going to be really tough to leave on the card. Check out that Mercedes. That is a proper 300 SL. Look at the wheels. I'm beginning to think all the, the best bang for your buck, it might be in these silvers. Gosh, that is beautiful. And the six of six. Thank you, Brody. Must, must. Because this whole stupid ass. Again, this is where we circle back to the discussion of money grabs. Not, it's, it is, of course, it's a money grab. They need to make their products desirable. Now, the problem really is us, because we're the fools. We're the ones who are foolish in that regard. And, and it's fun. It's super fun to participate. It's super fun to have that successful feeling of finding them. But he's even kind of part of the pleasure of not finding it, you know, because you know you still got it to look forward to. But I'm not, I, I can't be like it's a money grab. You know, I just think that's the least productive way to look at it. We have to just recognize they're in the business of selling things and we're in the business of buying the things they sell. We're gonna make better choices of the particular things we buy. And maybe we just put money in other brands when there's a question that arises. Maybe we don't, maybe we buy them all. Who knows, but. There'll be so much more pleasantries when we instill more positives into the hobby. Like not overlooking that your boy was missing this. Another fake chase, but a low production car. And I, again, I don't think there's really, I think that actually put a, a brand in a tough position to make a low production car. That, because then you know there's that many other incomplete sets in the world. So yes, it makes this one a little more valuable, but the value of, to the brand is to be able to look back and be excited about the whole set, the whole set, you know? Complete us or not, that's where the glory is. And I'm stoked. I am, how many chases did I get today? Low production, low production. The M Deuce, the Volvo, the Merc Murder Ride, you know, that thing is blood all over it. It's beautiful, man. I really wish you all to find that one. You all deserve that one. Um, well, thank heaven for you guys. That's really the end of the show. <laughs> 
don't have much to talk about and other things to show this was just what i brought home and wanted to make sure um i shared it with you guys because i appreciate you guys sharing your hobbies with me so continue to do so if you liked what you heard hit the like button you know if you're not in your channel lineup put me in there you know it it won't cost you a thing that's what i don't get sorry but if you dare to be a channel member I wish I wish I could thank you guys in so many other ways but you channel members are really 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 fueling me and fueling the channel the project so thank you guys thank you so much and hopefully these giveaways are are some measure of reward for for you guys participating in what I'm trying to do so so thank you with that we're gonna get to the giveaway but I also got some recent acquisitions on the track. So thank you to the homie Cho for these recent acquisitions and some I bought at the store. So enjoy the vibe. Track times for show and always a must. Don't forget to play. Hashtag don't forget to play. Apply pressure with lines even when they block me like Aaron Donald establishing dominance like the big Aristotle. Then rap is Aaron to follow. I came spitting flame like I had the spirit of spiral. He's the best next up. I came to carry the title. Burying rivals. My competitive spirit mirrors that of Larry and Michael. Delivering truth like a missionary. Carrying Bible. Young visionary. Words painting pictures for recreation. That's Pictionary. They get it clearly. It's saying with bars. I've gone bonkers. Terminating beats with machines. I'm John Connor. I let my light shine and grow my green like it's flora and fauna. Word to my mama. Growing up, I wasn't for in the trauma. Uh, no filet mignons, it was cube steaks. Holes in the back of my denims held by a shoelace. Now, I've arrived years after my due date. Lock this beat in my scope and let the flow ride like toothpaste. I told 20 cities two months after my brother died in 2021. Two options. I could run it hard or take it to that level that he knew that I would take it to. Now, everything's for weeds. He knew I was too capable and grown men go get their own because who's saving you i'm in position doing all the things i couldn't wait to do my merch is selling out i'm getting features at a high rate and doing songs with artists that in my mind to find great i know it's more coming because i'm just scratching the surfaces the best part this here wasn't given i had to work for this life is fly once you figure out what your purpose is but even doing fly shit you can encounter turbulence look i spit bullets like a 50 cal loaded while rappers they lacking focus i divided lies out of my my rhymes and I was zero, that's my rap pack quotient. I keep more wavy sneaker lines than the black shack notes. Look, in the silver bullets combined, flip through the pages. I'm the beast that even dictionaries couldn't define. Check the army. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the track time. I mean I you know, just kind of put them together and there's so many I've never shared with you guys and I don't know, I just like making them. Even though they're really frustrating. But that's to share with you guys. Hope you enjoyed. And with that. Today's giveaway has nothing to do with that. Has nothing to do with today's show. Has nothing to do with anything. It just has to do with the fact that I love Porsche. And I want you guys to love Porsche. So I've got a variety of Porsche cards that I want to send out. And I'm going to put three in a box and send it to whichever of you lucky channel members wins this drawing. Steve S. That works out because I'm sending Steve a box of cards he bought. Don't mind if I slide them in there under your shipping costs, huh? Being real, just being honest. I don't have to be that honest, but I'm not honest. Why not? But that is hella cool. And congratulations to you, Steve. Dude, you're, you 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 and, and and actually a handful of you guys man have really been riding with me for a minute and really active and really positive and it's appreciated i it's tough putting yourself in spotlight like this and then exposing yourself you guys have been really polite with all my exposure i appreciate you guys for that and uh look forward to seeing you on the next video and I got some uh I'm working on this one and I want to get it out to you guys but I feel like it's just more for me 
<laughs> makes no sense, but if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I don't know who had that lyric, but when I remember, I'll put it in the next video. I'll let you boy. Peace.